is a really big day, guys. Dr. Sam's is five years old. And whilst the time has flown, an awful lot has happened. And it's so easy as an entrepreneur to just keep looking forward onto the next thing, onto the next thing. Um, but five years feels like a big number. So I think it's a really good time to put a stake in the ground and just reflect on everything that has happened and what has gotten us here. We're going to be doing some really fun stuff over the next few days on social media. And I can't wait to share more of that with you. But Today, I just wanted to go back to where it all started, which is the clinic. Now, when I started out, which was in 2010 in private practice, can you believe I used to rent rooms by the hour because when you were just starting your own business, you wanted to be flexible with your hours and not overcommit. But the intention was always to do things a little bit differently to how conventional dermatology outpatients appointments were at the time, which tended to be really focused on the problem um, and, and brisk, you know, not, there wasn't much time to really share about yourself, about your background, about lifestyle habits and things. And really the intention was to do things in a more expansive way and to really offer a detailed, thorough service to patients that were coming to see me. And very quickly, a particular kind of patient started to arrive. And that was women a bit like me, who were somewhere between 20s and 40s, who were troubled by breakout prone skin as an adult, something that's incredibly frustrating, but were also concerned about how to age in a healthy way, because part of the concern was that in reaching for products labeled anti-aging, they found that their skin was actually getting worse. Frequently, they were breaking out more and becoming more congested. Whereas if they went to look for solutions from the breakout perspective, they ended up in the teen skin aisles of their local pharmacy with products that were harsh and potentially disruptive to their skin barrier. So it felt like there was nowhere to turn. And whilst that particular set of issues might sound niche, it actually represents around 40% of women. And I reckon there's probably another 20% who if they're not actively breaking out or getting congested are worried about it. And that anxiety is pervasive. We would always ask patients to complete a questionnaire and we ask them what their goals were. And as a singular voice, they expressed the desire to go without makeup, to no longer be a slave to concealer to be able to go on the school run or to go to the gym without worrying about what they might need to cover up. And I felt the same way too. So it's about unlocking that freedom and self-esteem boost that comes from having great skin, skin that you can rely on, that isn't gonna derail you when you have something big coming up in your diary. Skin that gets compliments because ultimately that is the validation that what you're doing with your skin is working because others can see it. So the clinic approach was to create a complete plan to give you the absolutely best toolkit available, whether it was the skincare basics, so a cleanser that wouldn't congest your skin or disrupt your skin barrier, elegant sunscreen that you actively enjoyed using and it wasn't something that you worried was gonna give you even more breakouts, right up to cosmetics advice and supplementation advice. And this formula worked. But of course, not everyone can come to a private clinic to have their skin sorted. So it dawned on me, that this concept, this package of advice and amazing products was something that was scalable, that could be turned into, in my view, the first really accessibly priced doctor-led brand that would truly deliver a skin transformation. Teach our customers how to master their skin with products with the right ingredients at the right concentration in the right combinations. So that was the goal. Now it turns out that creating a skincare brand is not for the faint hearted. Now bear in mind that 60% of new businesses do not survive three years. And there have been a lot of sleepless nights. I often compare the brand, you know, to being like a baby. <laughs> um, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of catastrophizing. And, you know, then unforeseen icebergs like a global pandemic right in the middle, you know, have peppered the journey. So of course there are bad days, but on those tough days, you'll find me in our product reviews because that's 
where I see the evidence that we really are having an impact on our customers' lives. And that's a powerful incentive to keep me on track with the mission. At the heart of it, I think that we've been successful for three main reasons. The first one is that we keep it simple. And I realized how important this was one day. In 2016, when I was sitting on the tarmac, delayed on an easy jet flight back from Ibiza, probably with a hangover. And I remember I was so bored, I started to peruse the EasyJet magazine, which might not be my usual plane reading. Anyway, it was serendipitous because it was an article by a guy called Ken Siegel, who was the master marketeer who worked closely with Steve Jobs at Apple. His words spoke to me. This Apple-esque simplicity was what was missing from the skincare market and it's exactly what we delivered for our patients. So simplicity was an absolute requirement and I think that we've achieved that with Dr. Sam's skincare. Number two is that we're expert led with science at the core. Education is vital. The reason our patients were getting such great results was that we left nothing to chance. They had exactly the right information that they needed to carry out their plan. And so with the brand, we use video content to do exactly the same thing so you know what to expect and when to expect it. So thank you, YouTube. And then finally, we offer results that are truly transformational. So I like to think that we under-promise and over-deliver. We know that we're getting there because of the amazing feedback we get from you, our community. We get emails that tell us that for the first time, you feel free, you feel confident, you're hearing these great compliments from your friends who want to know what you're using and you slowly but surely replace your entire skincare wardrobe with Dr. Sam's and that fills me with joy because then you're telling people, you're sharing your experience and it's that word of mouth that I think is the real engine behind the brand. It's because we're community led um, and we listen to that feedback, it's fed back into the brand so that we're always tweaking and improving and iterating to make things as good as it possibly can be. Now, this is a really good opportunity for me to thank all the people who have helped get us here where we are today. There are so many people to thank. There are those who were there at the beginning who helped mentor me and were just available, incredibly available to give advice often late at night, often at very inconvenient times, but it was that critical bit of advice that often helped avert a disaster. And I was just blown away by how generous people would be with their time and advice in the entrepreneur's world. As a consequence, um, we've decided that this is a perfect time for us to pay things forward. So I'm delighted to announce that we are partnering with the Girls Network, which seeks to offer mentorship and role modeling to disadvantaged girls at a really critical point in their lives. My whole team and I are getting involved and we'll also be making a contribution over the course of the next year. Now, teenage girls are experiencing an avalanche of mental health problems right now, as many of us will know, with only 14% of girls surveyed by the Girl Guiding Organization in 2021 saying that they felt happy most of the time, down from 40% in 2009. Now, it's really impressive to hear from the Girls Network that 91% of girls mentored feel more confident as a result of the process. It took me a while to find the right path. Entrepreneurship is definitely what sets me on fire, but perhaps with the right mentor at the right time, I'd have found that path and got on track a little bit sooner. Now, just to say um, some thank yous to the people that I work with every day. So the team at the clinic who are always there for me, whether it's collaboration on Instagram lives, some feedback on formulations, or just to listen to a problem that I have, um, usually over a bottle of red wine of an evening. I really appreciate you guys. And to the brand's team, whose creativity and drive, and perhaps most importantly, their obsession with an amazing customer experience from end to end really is at the heart of what the brand does. I'm so glad to have all you guys in my corner, um, so thank you. And then finally, there's you, the community out there who have always been generous with your feedback and with your loyalty. And it really is that word of mouth, as I said before, that's at the heart of what we do. It means so much and I am so grateful to have you guys on this journey with us 
and hopefully will be with us for the next five years because we have a lot still to do. Final thank you to my mum, not something I tend to do in this forum, but um, I think this is a good time to say thank you. She's been an amazing support over the last five years, over all the other years, and she's never wavered in her support of my dreams, even though sometimes she's thought I was maybe a little bit crazy in my ambitions. Um, and she's really happy that we finally um, got a piece of press in our local newspaper, the Belfast Telegraph, as a consequence of the five-year birthday. So I'm really happy um, and she'll be coming over to London to share some time with me over the next few days. All right, I hope that wasn't too sentimental, guys. Um, it is a big day. I'm really proud of what we've built and I'm really proud of the community that was built um, together. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all that you've done for us so far. Thank you for sharing in the journey and please stay with us over the next few days as we'll be doing some exciting things here.